Hi guys, today I'm back with a quick tips video. Today I want to show you how you can repair your Daytona USA um, arcade PCB if it is suffering from certain 3D graphical glitches. The 3D graphical glitches I'm referring to appear to be pretty common. I'm actually owning four sets of Daytona uh, USA arcade PCBs and they are all suffering from the issue. The issue comes in several levels of severity. Uh, what you see now on the screen is uh, like the medium level severity of the issue. You can clearly see um, the vector uh, problems uh, in the graphics. The, uh, the track and the cars and everything isn't quite uh, uh, projected right. Uh, the texturization of the polygons, however, uh, seems to be okay. And that is also a uh, characteristic uh, for this issue. A more severe version of the same problem can be seen here, where uh, most of the 3D graphics is actually lost. You can't see uh, uh, any 3D graphics uh, at all. There's just uh, some uh, polygons uh, sometimes uh, popping um, up on the screen, but no real track or no more cars uh, are really visible. And there's also a very mild form of the uh, graphical problems, like uh, you can see on the screen now. Uh, on the first glance you might think uh, that the graphics are actually uh, completely uh, correct, but uh, at some point you will see that, uh, for instance, part of the road uh, under the car is disappearing for a very short moment. And also in the distance uh, you can see here uh, if you look at the bridge, there's one polygon that is uh, probably not correct. Uh, one polygon is uh, reaching diagonally into the water. It is just uh, minor glitches like that uh, that can be seen in the mild form uh, of that problem. The problem uh, lies uh, on the um, Daytona USA uh, game PCB, which is located in the game cabinet under the seat. Um, it's a four board stack and the lowest board of the stack is the graphics PCB. This graphic uh, PCB uh, mainly consists of um, several um, surface mount FPGAs, custom made graphic chips uh, by Sega and uh, lots of uh, surface mount and through hole um, memory chips and some EEPROM chips. And I actually spent um, a lot of time figuring out how this uh, graphics uh, PCB is uh, working. Uh, but um, I actually uh, decided to spare you the, the details and make this a long story short video. So what you have to do to fix the issue is you will have to uh, remove the uh, six uh, surface mount uh, RAM chips uh, that are shown uh, on the screen now and you will have to replace them with uh, some new ones. Uh, these are 1 megabit PS uh, RAM chips um, ICs 7 through 12 and uh, the type of RAM chip that you are, uh, will be needing to get is a TC518 128 CFL minus 80 and you also uh, will need to replace uh, the uh, Sega custom IC next to it uh, which turned out uh, to be an EEPROM chip so the chip needs to be replaced with an AT27C040 uh, opt EEPROM chip and uh, on the chip you need to burn uh, the fi a file which is called mpr-16312.1 and that file um, can be found uh, in an archive which is in of the game uh, Zero Gunner from the MAME ROMS collection. The archive is called zerogunaj.zip uh, so that is z e r o g u n a j dot zip, and this file uh, should be available on the web. 
Um, I ab absolutely wanted to share uh, this uh, information with you guys because, uh, to be honest, I uh, was uh, fiddling around with these boards for months now and um, finally today I was um, able to completely figure it out and I um, applied uh, the uh, repair process that I just um, described to all uh, four of my faulty Daytona boards and they uh, are now all four boards are now back in uh, fully working order and uh, do not show any more signs of any graphical glitches. And if you're asking yourself now, um, why is this a common problem? Why are those chips supposed to fail on uh, many Daytona boards? Um, well, I think I have an explanation. Um, in the metal cage uh, where the uh, PCB is situated in the cabinet, there's a small fan uh, located next to the PCB. And this fan is uh, supposed to blow cold air between uh, the layers of the PCB to um, actually cool down uh, the components uh, of the PCB between uh, the layers. But what this fan actually does, if it's running for years, it is blowing, um, it is picking up a lot of dust um, and blowing it between the uh, PCB layers. And uh, the layers uh, actually, the dust is actually accu accumulating uh, between the PCBs. And um, the uh, largest amount of dust is uh, actually accumulating between the graphics PCB and the PCB above it, which is uh, the main PCB of the game. And I um, do have um, some pictures here of what I'm talking about. Um, you can see uh, this uh, black dust um, on the ICs. Um, unfortunately, I uh, already removed um, a large uh, portion of the dust before I um, did take the photos, so there was actually much more uh, dust on all of my PCBs between the layers, and especially uh, on those chips that uh, need replacing on those uh, boards. And I think that actually this um, thick layer of uh, dust is uh, probably the reason why those uh, ICs are failing because uh, when this thick layer of dust, which is probably several millimeters uh, thick, um, accumulates on the ICs, it actually sh probably works like a heat insulation and um, will prevent um, the cool air from the fan uh, to reach uh, the IC and it will actually um, deprive the IC of the ability to radiate its heat uh, to the outside world and probably will cause an overheating and uh, failure of the component. So what I would uh, strongly suggest uh, if your Daytona uh, PCB doesn't uh, show any graphical issues so far, uh, you should probably um, clean uh, the PCB uh, in that area from time to time uh, to prevent uh, the overheating uh, to occur. Okay guys, that's it for now. Uh, if you like this quick tips video, please uh, leave a th uh, thumbs up if you're interested in arcade repair and step-by-step uh, -step troubleshooting of arcade PCBs. Please uh, watch uh, the other uh, videos that I uploaded. And of course you are free to uh, join my channel. Again, thank you very much.
Chief. 